Maybe we could walk. No, That's Ben. That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just Kenny, saying. don't be mean. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. It's a gas. gas. And diesel. Something that's gonna explode. Yeah, we need to be careful. You gotta get a hold of yourself. You're this drunk. Crew here. So brought, man. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Oh. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Hello? Because we could have just kept walking. Uh, people. No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We <laughs> know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. Give me a break. You guys got a problem we with your train? Kids, man. Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Buddy. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. Oh my god, Kenny, you're going crazy. Don't turn into Lily, all right? Just calm down. We'll be down here. Okay, I guess I'm just guess I'm going up without talking to anyone. Leads up to that wreck tanker. Well, let's go then, Lee. Come on. You don't need me to tell you to do well, come up there. You better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. They seem pretty friendly. Although that could mean anything, guys I suppose. Is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now, what about when? Stop it. Uh oh. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Hello. Krista. What's the deal with the train? Hello. We're driving it. Oh man. Yeah, pretty awesome. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies, and yeah, we we really need some help. Yeah, What's we do. It? Who's that? Oh shit! God damn, you guys have a kid. Oh my god. What are you doing up here? He sounds do you like know a... how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? That sounds a bit oh, creepy. Oh. Just saying. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great. <laughs> See? Things are looking up. Yeah, she told You're me off for swearing. Down. He down there? It's that obvious? Me? <laughs> uh, no, he's not down there. <clears throat> What's your story? Um, I found out on was on day one. I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? Oh my god. I didn't make it. It was my far. first day, dude. And everybody down there, they're cool. Kenny lost his wife and kid. Today. Man. Like, how long ago? What 30 time minutes is ago. It? I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. I feel I like if I told them problem. Kenny's story, they'd we'll help probably take pity on me. We see anything we don't like. We're moving on down the road. Fine. Alone. That's We'd fine with me. Can't just flash through it, I guess. If no. we could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. As long as we get to keep Stop the train. There. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Oh, cool. We're having like a little chat. Let's let's talk to them. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, oh right. me. What? He's way too enthusiastic. Let's talk to her. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? Alright, calm down. Just trying to look at this shit. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. Alright, let's head down. What's this? Oh, a generator. It's empty. Oh, dang it. Of course it is. What's in Folks here? probably had that way with that van a while ago. Well, let's have a look. We don't know that. There might be shit in there. Ooh, tape. Tape is always useful, and it's gaffer tape. That That's stuff's industrial. Thing, yep. Very useful, though. Guys, this is old Mead and Krista. Right. <clears throat> like I said, we could use some good people. We could use some good people. Uh, we're more. gonna cut that tanker down. These two are joining us. It's time to move forwards. It's time we move forward. Old and Krista are gonna help, and we're gonna get past this damn tank. You know what? I've had we're such a shit day today, and uh. I've had to crack over my Christmas beer, which I'm not fucking happy about. So, that's it. We're on it. We're on it like a car bonnet. We're gonna fucking truck this train down to... God knows where. 
Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. And uh, I might have just burped on cam on the uh, on the mic. I hope you didn't hear that. I'm sorry. Like, I swear to God, I'm a very polite lady. Like, it's just because I'm drinking cider and it really makes me burp. So sorry about that. I'm just like, oh God, I've had such a bad day. Don't even get me started. But that's why we're playing this, isn't it, guys? Like, you know. Escapism and all that shit. Oh, let's talk to these guys. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. I'm trying to fucking get through this because I guess it's good. It's kind of a woman. the second one's out. The second season is out, and I'm like panicking. I'm like, oh, I want to play it. I want to play it. I want to play it. So, but I want the reactions from this one to to go into the next one. So. And I haven't even played 400 days yet. Shit. Got so much to do. Where are you from? Yeah, where are you from? I want to know. San Francisco. <coughs> oh, nice. Are you going to San Francisco? Be sure to wear the flowers in your hair. And I'm going to stop singing a load of tosh. Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. I wasn't listening to any of that. You guys will have to fill me in. Oh, Omid is interested in Southern history. Oh, that's fucking fantastic. What option shall I? Careful, she's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You aren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to. Yeah, she needs to learn the lessons of life. Sure, how will. Maybe ask her me. Mike. He likes to break things. I think. Oh my god. I think my cat is sulking. Like, he's just. I'm sure you don't want to hear about my personal life, but he's just, like, gone into the corner of the room and he sat, like, facing the wall directly away from me. He's, like, just sat in the very corner of the room, staring at the wall in a I'm not talking to you because you haven't given me dinner kind of, kind of way. Fine, if you want to be like that. You stop with the fucking guitar. Actually, it's, it's quite a nice tune. Oh, are we don't. Are we not talking to him? We can't talk to him. Let's go talk to. Oh god, do I want to talk to Kenny? I'm not sure. I ain't sure that's a good idea. I'm sure this gaffer tape's gonna come in handy. When? Oh, I mean, do you like southern history? Let's have a deep chat about that. You like Civil War history, huh? Fuck yeah. What do you know about some Quantrill's raid? Mm. Well, it happened about a thousand miles that way. Well, yeah. And we're headed the other way. But if it's somehow not crawling with the dead, yeah, there should be some cool things to see. Probably Excellent. is. Don't tell Krista though. That won't be as big a selling point for her. You God. got it. Why are these two even together? They don't seem to have anything in common. I bonded. Oh yeah. The ropes? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I bonded with Omid. I said if something were. He's such a fucking legend. Maybe we can drive in ships. We'll see. Kenny, oh, Omid is my new best friend. All right. You said you hated me and you fucking beat me up. And uh, Omid likes southern history. We've got an instant connection. So fuck you. I'm like, when it comes to the boat, if there's like, if there's only space for like two people, I would totally pick him over you. Just saying. Right now, you are. Skating on thin ice. How have you two made it this far? Anywho, seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups, and I'm a fucking scrap. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Why are you joining this group then? What's going on? What's going on? Hundreds, tens, sometimes. Like one time, like one one time. How long since you've been home? <laughs> like six months. We were on the road for a while, and then. Rough. I like how you meet all these people and no one talk to you later. No one really addresses like the whole zombie apocalypse. You meet these people and you're never like so there are dead people rising and walking around. How about that? You just sort of like accept it as yeah, it's been you know, it's been a few months, it's been three months, we're used to it now, this is just the norm now. It's very weird. 
it's fascinating really you know when you get into the situation and there's absolutely no communication with the outside world you have no fucking idea what the government are doing there probably isn't a government anymore you don't even know because you have no communication with them it's odd isn't it you like you imagine what would happen oh flower ah oh. you imagine what would happen if like you got dealt like you got put into oh there's many flowers oh that one doesn't seem as special anymore fuck you flower you imagine like what would happen if you actually ended up in this situation you know um you would just see everyone as an enemy wouldn't you you would just be like oh stranger you know we're a dystopian we're like in a dystopian universe now whatever um <clears throat> you are instantly the enemy it's very weird how to like how you know i to like in today society i have trouble distinguishing between people who are like bitches and aren't so how would you do it in like a zombie apocalypse. I don't. I don't fucking know. I'm rambling. It's just it's interesting. One hell of a fireball of Maybe that's why people are so like fascinated with zombie-related stuff because like the idea of it is quite quite interesting. Am I gonna go check out the? Maybe I should check out that train station. On my own? Someone come with me. You over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah. All right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Come with me Hustle everywhere, Clementine, because I love you. You are like my child now. I'm just like I'm just going to tell people you're my daughter. Whatever. They'll be really confused, but then they'll like they'll be like, "But she's what but no, that can't be right." But they'll be too embarrassed to say anything. So, ooh, what's that? S Somebody must have been pretty desperate. Uh, probably not survivors anymore. That paint has been dry for months. Yeah. <clears throat> What's taffy? What is taffy? You know, taffy? T A F F. Why is it nougat? I saw taft. I saw that sign there, taft, and it reminded. It like made me think of it. Is it like? Is it nougat? It's like a chewy thing, isn't it? Oh, I could, I could really go for some, like, some taffy right now. I'm so hungry. Oh, Clem, you're so nice. I don't think that's relevant anymore, but okay. Clem, what are you doing? You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Yeah. <clears throat> Do as you're told. I can't see in there. Can't see. Let's try the door handle. It doesn't work. We already know that because Clem tried it. We even though we <coughs> told her off. Ooh, it's, it's locked. There's like an intercom. Can we like fiddle with that? No. Ooh, what's this? It's just forklift. Is that gonna come in? Look like that thing's worked in years. Oh, fine. Apparently not. Oh, I saw something. Oh, fuck's sake. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Come on. We need to... Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? She needs, to, she needs to learn sometime. <clears throat> do it. Go on, Clem. Go on. Okay. I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates. I see stuff. a room. Can find the key. Figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny probably have me. What do they say? Red versus blue. I see a room time. with. I opened it. For real? I think so. Five walls. No, four. Four. Only four walls and a ceiling. Well, I'll be there. Oh, have you guys seen that episode? Red versus blue. I think episode thirty-nine. Or thirty six. I'll have to find. Oh, I'll put. A, I'll put a link to it in the description below. It's like, it's fucking awesome. It's my favorite episode ever. Um. Anyway. Let's go. I love it. Like, there's one in the episode. Um. He's like, give me a boost. Uh, you are a nice person, and things say, people say good things about you. I meant a physical boost, not an emotional one. So funny. I don't like that. 
I'll prop it open with some. Funny show. Rooster teeth. Look it up. Oh crap, I was not paying attention. Uh so that thing was in my hands instead of over there. It's too dark otherwise. Shit. We might need that for something important. I was panicking because I, I was talking to you. Ugh, shit. There's gotta be something useful in here. How am I gonna like, like? That's my weapon gone How now. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Can I pick up that wrench? Can I pick it? Wish that thing was in my hands instead of over there. It's yeah. too dark otherwise. Okay. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah. There we are. That's exactly what we need. Why? Over there? Yeah. We need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Do we? What do we need it for? They didn't have much business back then. There's some space up there. Not much. Oh, come on, Clem. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah. There we are. Come on then, I'll I'll give you a bit. Let's talk to her first. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Let's give you a boost. Another you one. Okay, going over the top of this fence. Yeah, definitely. <coughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoop. Uh oh. What's going on? Behind you. Oh shit! I don't have like. Um. Ah! Oh shit, Clementine's gonna have to shoot them now. Or am I gonna grab the gun? Get the gun, get the gun. Or the monkey wrench, I guess. Before it gets dark. Oh god! Cute, 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 cute. Take that! Teamwork. Oh, oh, Clem. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit! I can't get in there. Clem's in there, and I can't get in. Now, Clem. Give me the fucking keys. God damn it, it's locked! Oh, god damn it. Give me the gun, you silly girl. God damn. Oh, we it saved her. So no, it didn't, Clem, did it? But it did we. Not go so good, but we're okay. Everything's okay. We're okay because we worked as a team. What's going on? Nothing. I I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? We're awesome. Uh. We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? Oh, fuck off. She's annoying I'm me. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. Hmm. What is- I hope you know what you're doing with her. Yes. Me too. For her sake. Oh f- Why does everyone we come across, like, criticize us? For looking after Clem. She's still she's fucking still alive, isn't she? Like I kept her alive, which is more than I can say about other people. I'm um, It'll pass. Whatever. Just like oh. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us, but we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that 
kill us. You understand? Mm hmm. Oh, I feel like I should have told her to pull the trigger. She actually means to pull the trigger. Let's go, Clem. Teamwork.